Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The Jets have every intention of walking out of today's game with win number four on the season. It's the Colts going up against the Jets. Thank you, Larry. Coming to you from just off the New Jersey Turnpike in East Rutherford, we are just about set for football on EA Sports from MetLife Stadium. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Indianapolis Colts and the New York Jets. It's the final three weeks of the season. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. This is taken at the three. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it at every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. And a long way to go for the offense here on second down. So the play clock's running down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. It's a gain of five on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, Pick out the plays that work best for you. And you know what else you're looking for? What's that? Who are the freshest guys coming off of the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. A gain of 11 that time and a Colts first down. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. And to give this time to the tailback. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Just two yards to go here on second down for the offense. Here we go now. Green, From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds.
played. <laughs> Two yards to go here on third down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Looking left side of he's got a man. It's Ryan. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 23 yards on the play. Let's go. Three, like Leopard. Leopard. Here we go now. Green, 39. Now they try the right side here. And he'll lose yardage here. Going down back at the 28. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. The evaluation process in today's NFL does not take into account as much bulk as it does speed, and that's what we're seeing with the linebacker position. Those guys that can run, they can play at any spot because they can make plays on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. play clock off the play fake he'll look to throw got his man complete over the middle that's Ryan and he takes it down to the 10 yard line another good reception there the Colts on the march Brandon lest my eyes deceive me I think they found a matchup that they're trying to exploit here, don't you? I mean, that's the second time they've gone to him here on this drive. Yeah, opening drive. It's a tone setter, right? I think they're going to be looking his way a lot. Yeah, and I think that the way things are going right now, they like him as a featured receiver. Let's see what kind of adjustments the defense is going to make to try and take that away. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. touchdown a great effort there with touchdown number seven on the year and the Colts take it right down and score on the opening drive and this is good to make it seven nothing Indy the kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. to the 25 here on the first play but no more than that no gain on the play there second down and a couple of big boys up front defensively and in that 4-3 those D tackles so vital extremely vital I love how you describe that because if they control things up front often it's over the guard sometimes they slide and make it over the center it's really hard to get a play started then because a lot of teams want to start inside out running the football but against a good 4-3 you may not find any space, but on that play, there was zero space, no gain. They run the counter now on first down. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there of 20 yards.
So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Now a handoff looking right. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. That was a good, strong run there. While it won't pick up a first down, it was definitely something needed by that. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And in this very cold night air, how much harder, Charles, is it to hang on to that football? It's a lot harder, and I know for the most part we think about a ball being slick when there's rain or snow, any type of moisture. But when it's cold and dry and like it this, is cold. and it is cold, it go, it's also slick that way because you're not able to really grip it the same way. Your hands are cold, and, and, and then the hits seem harder. So, yeah, it's a lot more difficult to hold on to the football, which means you have to emphasize it that much more. Wind chills right now, 12 degrees. Now they try the right side here. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. A great play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Extra point attempt here still to come. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. This is taken at the three. And yeah, he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. First down, they'll run it on the draw play. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Set up a throw. And an alley to run. And he slides to avoid the hit. A gain of 11 that time at a Colts first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. one up to about the 39 here seven yards on the pickup there and it'll leave him with a second and three if these kinds of lanes are available you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground yeah you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step and that's a big pickup right there on first down back with charles davis i'm brandon gordon the colts in possession of the football to begin quarter number two they're looking at a second and short yardage to start things out looking right and able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. They'll go to the air here on third and two. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. 
And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. Now they try the right side here. And some big time hitting going on there. He is knocked to the ground at the 41 yard line. Came out in a power set, but that only served to put more men in the box. And guess what? If you're going to do that, you've got to win up front, right? Your offensive guys have got to beat the defenders. They lost all leverage on that play. throw here out of the gun and he fires one that's intercepted picked off near the 26 and his guys will take over at the 30 yard line and he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career you're saying that's going into the trophy case i'd put it there yeah no doubt about it. that's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game if you play in the back seven on defense that's part of your job finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I'm no offensive mastermind, but of all the guys on the field to block, you might want to stop him. Look, I've got a very simple rule. An unblocked defender is usually your best defender, and he ended up making the play there. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. They'll set up the throw. And this is going to be incomplete. There are a good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. And he gets this away, angled for the sideline with a lot behind it. Wow. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. He'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. The Colts on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and seven. Green, 39. Number, number. Watch in that party, party. They'll run it now out of the gun. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. The Jets offensive unit ready to get going here. The partner just looking at some of the struggles they've had this season. The playoffs are not in their future. As they start to peer toward the offseason, what moves might they make? 
I think the running back position, and I know we talk all the time about the NFL being a passing league, but the teams that run the ball effectively, they're the ones that go deep into the playoffs and go to the Super Bowl. They have to upgrade here. And you and I both know in recent years in the draft, people have shied away from taking a runner early, but there's that special one there. I say they go get him. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. He rifles one that's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 46. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. We don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off? His bio rhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And now here's a carry heading left. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also move the sticks. Well, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. down and he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20 yard line call it a gain of three and it'll make it a second down two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half we'll come back to MetLife Stadium after this short timeout second down now after the pass completion He'll drop to throw. Powering his way forward. And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Now a handoff here to his running back. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. attack here and he'll get into the end zone touchdown Indianapolis a great effort there his 14th touchdown now on the year and the Colts have taken the lead and he's got it it's now a 14-7 ball game The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. 
Now the Jets offense about set to take over as they head onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Khalil Mack in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. Well, you don't usually get a sack from a nose tackle spot, but we got one there. No, we don't, and a lot of the times in passing situations, they end up off the field anyway. So how happy was he to work his way back to the quarterback and put him on the ground? He's going to have a bit of nickname after something like that, some big jelly or something like that. <laughs> And he'll get this one across the 20, but only up to about the 21. And another timeout taken by the Colts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's the Jets punter now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. And he gets it away, and it's a laser headed for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Play fake here on first down. Forced out to his left. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Jets have recovered. He let one slip away last week as well. So now two fumbles lost in as many weeks. But well, we were out of practice, and we watched him work. And what did his quarterback coach talk about all week? Being a two-hand monster. And we looked at each other. Two -hand oh, I get it. Two-hand monster. Both hands on the football taking care of it, putting it away so the ball doesn't get... So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is right there. It's good. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They go play action here on first down. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Now let's see who this is on. Well, you won't hear any boos from this home crowd on that call. No, not at all. And it's been a long day for this crowd waiting for this game. It's been a long evening as well. Finally, they feel they got a call. They'll look to throw here on first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Well, it's like that in just about every position. And sometimes if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. Let's go! On play action, they'll throw. 
Hit as he throws there, incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game, and there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside, probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. Back to throw here. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. Well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. When was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it? Kurt Coleman. Oh, yeah, that's Then right. with the Eagles. That's right. Then gets it with the Eagles. And I believe it's against Washington and Rex Grossman. That's correct. And he's got it across midfield and down to about the 47-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Come on, let's go! One, and now a first chance for the backup here to throw. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Derek Barnett able to get in there and drop him behind the line. The Colts on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. Here it's third and three. Come on, let's go! One, nine, three, 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 one, nine. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. And he's going to go out of bounds, taking it down inside the 25. That one goes for 24 yards. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping, and drag him to make sure he gets it done. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Now a handoff as they run left side. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. A great play there with touchdown number 15 of the year and second of the game. And the Colts add on to their lead. It's good, and it's 21-10. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. carry there second and eight sometimes with the running game you've just got to stick with it look this is the third quarter no time to panic but that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays but stay with the overall essence of the running game and brought down but not before reaching the 45 yard line it'll be a pickup of 16 and a jet first down to throw now on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Defense went 3-4. They got some push from the inside. And this is something in a 3-4 you don't normally get because the nose tackle who got the sack, he's usually responsible or ends up getting double teamed and sometimes triple teamed. How about him working his way back and putting the big guy on the ground? Okay, 
from the shotgun. He'll look to throw. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Is that not the very definition of a tough yard gain? Now, is that one where as the receiver, you go to your quarterback and say, why'd you even throw that? <laughs> yeah, I think you do, and I think you wonder, what type of a route are you going to send me on that only one yard's going to be the result? If I'm going to go in there and take contact, let's go and get something out of it. And it'll be brought down by the Colts. That's number four, sack number four. They had four last week, so he's he's been down on the ground a lot. Partner, they say the eye in the sky does not lie. And that's indeed the case because they watched the game tape from the previous week, incorporated into their own defensive scheme, and continued to get after this quarterback. And now this defense will be searching for sack number five. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. The Colts now, their offense works their way back onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And the slot man goes in motion left. And now here's a carry heading left. Gets it up around the 22 and no further. Did show some power on the run, but not a whole lot of room. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. second down absolutely nobody fooled there he's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind a line of scrimmage it'll be a loss of one and they're going to face a third down the play action fake they'll look to throw He'll rifle this one deep right side. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Well, they haven't had a whole lot of success in the passing game here. Now in the second half, he's thinking, I guess maybe just take a shot deep. I think you're right. Almost looking for a bailout, isn't he? Can my receiver go up and make a big play for me? Can I create a penalty downfield? Maybe pick up an interference call and get that yardage downfield? anything trying to get going again but you're right he definitely took a shot and the punt team on now is this one sent away this is brought in at the 21 12 yards on the return that time and the Jets will take over first and 10 so out now come the Jets. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for them. <laughs> Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. So the defense has put them in a tough spot. It's second and long. They'll run it now out of the gun. 13 yards on the pickup, and it'll be third down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Blitz coming, and down he goes. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Here's the Jets punter now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And no return here. Where will they spot it? 
They say just outside the 20 yard line. And the Colts coming out now. What up, what up? This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position yeah. game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he yeah, goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, that will be second down. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired I from talking about that much. much. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Colts. They've got control of the football. They also have the lead as we start the fourth. Second and ten. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. They've got his man complete. So because of the yards after the catch, they'll wisely decline the P.I. Yeah, since it was pass interference, they would have gotten the yardage at the spot of the foul. But as you correctly noted, a little bit of run after catch for them. That extra yardage made it easy to decline the penalty. Mm -hmm. no! of a full three yards and now it's second down. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Now a handoff as they run left side. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, but they've only got it back to third and ten. He was close to flirting with that sideline, but able to stay in bounds like you know his coach wants him to do and keep that clock moving. Isn't it funny that we're watching this play when we had that discussion just yesterday about this? What do you do in this scenario? What do you, you know, what's your mindset? It appeared to me that he'd totally forgotten that he needed to stay in bounds, and then the last says, oh no, I better, I better get down. And he ended up doing the right thing. But at that point, maybe to let this slip the rock. Now look to throw. Going down the middle and it's complete. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or a takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll You'll be play with the Raptors. The fourth quarter here, they got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now. They're man, that man ain't saying nothing. They just put that nigga mouth. They try and bleed it out. Oh my God, this nigga stopped. Able to get there and pick it. That is the play they needed in the two score game here in the fourth quarter. No doubt about it. I'm seeing this game crazy. Give themselves a chance to get back into the game. Nigga in the back of the end zone, stop fucking running. They are now in charge. Now they need to execute. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And he's not going to get away. The rush was too strong. And this is going to wind up a safety. Well, there is still time to recover from this. It remains a two-score game even with the two points there. But let's just say things not trending in the right direction. I like that phrase. I'm going to say it along with you. Things are definitely not trending you in like the right what you direction. Like, man. They needed something on that drive. Instead, they gave up two points and a lot of hope. Tackled at about the 35. 
Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Yeah, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. That's good. Good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. And again this time to the tailback. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. They'll drop to throw. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Now back to throw. Oh, my. Really? Come on, boy. It'll take you that long for that ball to get there. But at least it does get him to fourth down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got to lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances Perfect. to put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Especially in a spot like this. Fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked. Huh? I just got it up to a 95 before the game, Ted. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, like, I should have waited a second longer. He would have created more separation or something. Yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, that echo yeah, like a motherfucker. It's about to ball. take over as they head out onto the field. And last time they surrendered the safety, oh, we know they don't want to do that shit. again. That is just one of those oddities in the Yeah, that it, it, it is. It's so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you got to make sure. You need to turn around, fella. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. That's a great way to score some points. And that incompletion was caused by the defense. Right. They were trying to get one into the middle of the field, trying to find a receiver there. But they were in zone defense. And what are the advantages of being in zone? Eyes and reaction. Eyes meaning all eyes are on the quarterback and able to react when he throws the football and rally to that spot. And that's exactly what happened there. Able to get there and knock it away. The Jets on third down. They're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. This time it's third and three. Time yeah. for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Oh my right God. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. The 20. Let me get him make a tap. Let me get out there now. And the lead will shrink to six. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken at the three. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. And the Colts getting ready to go. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. And he's got room. 
And now nothing but green ahead of him. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great effort there. His third touchdown of the game, number 16 on the season. And the Colts are able to grow their lead. And they'll get set here looking for the two-point conversion. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Here we go. One. They're going to try and run. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And now out come the Jets. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense. And they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to pull that one in. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. My high school coach, John Ford, used to say all the time, if you're in a bad situation, laddie, don't compound it with a bad decision as well. And I think that's what we just saw there. Harassed in the pocket, and he throws into double coverage anyway. He called you Laddie? He called me Laddie, and that was the nicest thing he called me. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And now here's a timeout called by the Colts on the defensive side of the ball. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Here's the Jets punter now. He's been terrific so far. Six on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And hold everything here. This one is not over yet. They return it for the touchdown. They continue to fight, don't they? Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This is taken at the three. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. They have the lead, still a one-possession game, but the defense got the stop. They've got the football now just salted away, right? Exactly. That's all the defense is counting on from their offense. They did their job in a big way. You know they're over on the sidelines now starting to take their tape off and, yeah. hey, we've done this thing. The offense has to put it away, and that means ball security. Absolutely. Stranger things have happened. Try the right side here. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Now here's a timeout defensively. Defensive timeout called by the Jets. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. On 
second down, they'll try and run the counter. And some room to run now. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A big pickup there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. scoring there's no doubt about that in this one Charles points they were not in a premium they were pretty easy to come by <laughs> they were but it was fun wasn't it because both teams finding ways to click and you know people who love this game they also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in so for the Colts they get back to 500 now as the win moves them to 7-7. Seven and seven. And now they'll get the weekend off as they get a little extra time to prepare to face the Arizona Cardinals. Man, they game tried chance. to play me so hard. They plummeted now to 3-11. And, and they will try to turn it around next week as they head down to Carson for a matchup with the L.A. Chargers. the NFL on EA Sports. Good night, everybody.